In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Buddy Boss on your website. Coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and in today's video, I am going to be talking about how to set up components on your Buddy Boss website. Now, before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you do buy Buddy Boss using my affiliate link, you will get access to my Buddy Boss course that teaches you how to set up an online course website and pretty much from start to end. So saving you all that time to figure out how it all works. The course is in progress right now, but if you buy through my affiliate link, I will add you onto the waiting list. And as soon as the course is ready, which will be in a few weeks, you'll have access to this. So anyway, why do we need to use Buddy Boss? You may ask, well, Buddy Boss is really, really powerful because it allows you to have social interactions on your website. So when it comes to the social part of it, uh, it allows you to have your forums, groups, you can also have a feed similar to like a Facebook feed and so on. And it also comes with a theme that gives you a very good style to your website, making it look very, very professional. So let's dive in and let me show you how to set up your basic settings on your website. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is switch over here to my site. Now I've already gone ahead and installed Buddy Boss and here it is. So here you have a several uh, components or several items that you can go into, but the most important one is components because this is the one that we need. So over here on components, you can see here that we can activate certain features. So for example, if you wanna add social groups, which I highly recommend, you can go ahead and activate it here. And you may also want to activate a forum. So I'll go ahead and activate it here as well. And there are also other items that you can go ahead and activate. And these are things like media uploading, private messaging. So you can actually make your website truly social, social by having people message each other information throughout your whole website. So this can be a good feature because this is only happening to members of the website. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and activate this because I think this is a very good feature. You can also have member connections. So members can, you know, connect with each other on the platform as well. And you can have them invite each other via email. So pretty much these are the uh, basic ones I am going to add in. Now, if you want to go in and further customize this, you can come over here to settings. So this now will give you even more features that you may want to activate and deactivate based on what you want. So over here, I'm on groups. So here, group creation, you can say enable group creation by all users, which means the users themselves can create groups. So uh, moving on, we can also have avatars. I think this is great because this just gives a lot of context to all the uh, students on your website. So group messaging, I would go ahead and activate that as well. Now group types, you can go ahead and activate these uh, just to make it easier for you to uh, organize them but it's up to you if you wanna add these. So I'm gonna activate this one here and auto membership approval as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and activate that. And pretty much I have gone through all my settings. I can save now. Okay, so with that saved now, I can go now to groups and this is where I can create my groups. So you can decide what your group is going to be. So let's say mine here is uh, VIP members. So we can give it a name here. So let's call it VIP members. You can have a description of what the VIP member is about hit publish. So pretty much I have my group now. So you may be asking, so with this group created, how am I going to find it and how is it going to work? So the quickest way to, to go to this group is to just uh, click here on visit group and this will show up over here. So you can see now that we have VIP members. So here it shows that I'm the organizer. I can go in now and add some graphics to this. I can add an image here and also change this group photo. I can have my own. So let me just show you quickly how easy it is to add my photo here. So I'm gonna click here. And now it says, drag your image here. So I'm just gonna click on this and this now is taking me to my website where I can choose an image to use. So I'm just gonna come over here to downloads and let's see what I can use here. Well, uh, it looks like I don't have any images that I can use right away, but you know what? I'm just gonna put something in there just for the sake of this demo. All right, so I've got my image here. So I'm gonna go with, uh, okay, we'll go with that. Uh, it's pretty much to do with gardening. So <laughs> let's say this was a VIP group for gardeners or people learning how to do gardening. This is the image that we can have in there. Okay, so now that I've added all this, this looks great. I can then save, I can add my cover photo here. And if I were to come over here to members, I can see all the members 
in this group. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I can also send messages here, send invites. So let's say I have specific people on my uh, site and I need to send invites. I can come over here and uh, search for the members. I can also check this box for my connection. So if there's anyone that I connected with on the site, I can uh, invite them that way. And then over here on this tab, I can also see pending invites, which is really, really cool. Now, the one thing that I like about this is also each group has its own feed. So you can tell what is going on here in the feed and notice what happens. If I click here, I can uh, stylize the message itself by making it bold, adding quotes and so on. Now, there's also a feature which allows me to add emojis as well, and this can be activated on your website. But as you can see, this group here is working and it is very, very easy to set it up. So once you've set it up this way, if you set up Zoom, you will be able to create a live video that only targets these members, the VIP members. So anyone else outside the VIP members will not get access to it. So this is pretty much how you set up your groups. Now, let me go ahead and quickly show you how to set up your forum as well. So back over here on our site, we're going to come to forums. So we can click here on new forum. So let's give this forum a name. So I will just call this members. And then I'm just going to hit publish. Okay. So if I want to take a look at the forum, again, we can open this in a new tab and here it is. Now, I haven't added any topics yet. So what I'll have to do here is to go in and add all my forum topics and so on just to populate it. So over here, you can see we have new forum. So I can come over here and give it a name. So I can just say welcome, for example, or introduce yourself. There you go. So introduce yourself. That will be my first uh, forum. I'm going to activate it or publish it. Okay. So once published now, if I come over here and refresh, so now you can see here, introduce yourself has been added and I can add a new discussion here. So let me just add mine. So discussion title, I can just call it Mac and then I can just type my information here. There we go. So that's me starting my new discussion so I can post it. And you can see here, my message has uh, been added. And this also gives uh, this little notification to show us that this is the forum type. So if I take this URL away and just type in forums, you are going to notice that we have this one here, introduce yourself and this one here called members. And here on the bottom, you can see my message. And this is the one that I've just added. Okay. And my name is Max. So if anyone wants to respond to that, they can just click here on reply. They can reply to that and uh, say, hey, welcome to the group or welcome to the forum, or whatever it is. And uh, this is how the messages will be added. So as you can see, this is very, very easy to set up Buddy Boss. And this is highly recommended that you set it up this way. Now, there's also a way that you can go in now and protect these forums or groups using Wishlist Member. And that's what we're going to do in the next video. All right, guys. So that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.